What's up guys, Tao here. We are back with another experiment test. If you own one of these um, iPad Pro with a USB Type-C, and you probably know you can use it to charge other phones and tablet. If you don't know, now you know. So today we're gonna use this USB-C hub, um, plug into this M1 iPad Pro, just to see what's the power output. And um, we're gonna plug into every single port on this hub, and just to see if this iPad Pro can cope it. If you're also curious about this, stick around. All right, guys, first of all, let me run through the tools I'm using. Uh, the first one is the USB-C uh, power meter. Uh, this support power delivery as well and is Type-C output. Uh, this actually is a reversal. It could be input and output. And the second one is the USB-C hub. Um, the, this is Anker 7.1, one, two, three, yeah, 7.1 USB-C hub, support power delivery input. Um, it has a gigabit uh, ethernet and two USB 3s, and also a HDMI port, SD and a micro SD reader. And yeah, so we're gonna use every single port on this hub and then hopefully this iPad is gonna cope. Now, first of all, I'm gonna do a uh, phone charge and where's my phone? So I'm gonna use this to charge my phone and just to see what is the power output uh, when it charges the phone. Uh, let me get a cable. So, okay, so we're gonna plug in. Okay, it's charging. The power output, uh, it says on the readout, is 5.06 volt, which is five volt and 1.3 amp. So maybe one, now is one point, yeah, around about 1.2, 1.3, now it's drop 1.1. So the average wattage is about five, six, hover around five to seven watts. Now let's change to this iPad, now this is 2018 iPad Pro, and um, unplug it, and let's, um, now hopefully actually um, it will charge it, and it's gonna be very interesting, it will charge this iPad Pros as well. So just in case you do have a friend using the same iPad, or maybe you have Type-C iPad Pros, you can borrow your friend's iPad to charge your iPad maybe? So let's see. And oh, it's actually it's charging this M1 iPad instead of going out. So this um, right now is very interesting. Right now, the 2018 iPad Pro is charging the uh, M1 iPad Pro. So it's run about five volt, enjoying 1.4 amp. And that's interesting. Let me. Um, unplug this and plug back in. See, nope, still charging the other one. Uh, maybe let me unplug this. Right. Ah, okay, now here is charging. See, hopefully you guys can actually see from here. So right now it's charging the power out. Again, it's about, around about five volt, 1.4 amp. As you guys can see, it does charge. So it still provides five volts and 1.4 amp and run about seven watts. All right, now let's connect to the ports one by one. First of all, uh, I'm gonna connect to the um, HDMI cable. Is um, right now it's connected to one of the monitors and uh, we are just to see if it actually works. I'm pretty sure it works because I use it before. And hopefully it's connected right there. Yep, I can see it's connected to it. Uh, now let's uh, connect to a uh, micro SD card and SD card. So here are the ports. Uh, let me just get a little bit closer. You can see right here. So there's a micro SD. Now just uh, keep eye on this file on the sidebar. So as soon as I plug in, it should recognize the device here. So it's in. 
Here's a Sony 64GB, that's the micro SD. Now we're gonna use the um, SD card. And it should, because I've done this before. I know it should, yeah, here we go, that's Lumix. So these two SD slots has been have been occupied together with the HDMI port. Now, this is the bit I'm not quite entirely sure if you, if you will work. Now, I'm gonna use one of these, um, uh, this is the SSD. Um, at optimum operation voltage is five volt. At the amp is 1.4 amp. Now, this is the, at the best kind of scenario. Uh, if you do have a, a large transfer, now it may consume max amount of uh, power with that. So I know it should connect al with at least one of them. And uh, let's connect. And um, just keep on the side. And now it's still, okay, uh, yeah, it has connected. So here, that is on the SSD right now. So on the reading is uh, consume 5.16 volt, uh, 0.6 amp. The draw is around about 3.1 uh, watts. So that's all right. Actually, it's not bad. Uh, let's connect to the second, the second hard drive. Now this one is um, use five volt, run about I think it's one amp. Uh, yep. Yeah. 1 amp, so that total draw, the maximum draw, it should be around about 5 watts. So right now, it's uh, 3, we're drawing 3 watts. Now, let me plug in. Now, now if this works, which means you can have two external hard drives connect to it, and um, as well as, uh, oh my god, yay, it worked. So that's the CK1 terabyte, which is in there, in there, and uh, that is the SSD, Samsung SSD, and Lumix is the SD card right here, and the uh, Sony 64 gig, and that's the micro SD. Now, the reading is 5 volt, 0 0.8 amp, 4.2, less 4.3 watts. So yeah, so good thing is everything is operational. Okay, now I have an ethernet here. I'm just uh, plug in, let me just disable the Wi-Fi and make sure the ethernet is working. Uh, okay. Okay, it's in. Now, let's see. And what is, let's go into my channel. So Welcome yeah. Here. Oh. So I've been using this Apple Magic Keyboard for the long So yeah, as you can see, everything's working. The, the power meter shows five, Votes 5.1, so yeah, run it up five votes. Which is camera I'm playing, see. Time, I'm generally very happy with it, but recently I purchased this Logitech MX key. There we go, mini just to try out. Fantastic, how this keyboard is so if in the market to me, this is fantastic news. So, if you do have one of those iPad Pros, if you do want to connect multiple devices to it. Um, yeah, USB-C hub works. Uh, now, this particular one I'm using is from Anker. So, in theory, um, any USB Type C hub it should work. And some of them may use uh, or may draw a little bit more power than the other. But this, in general, it should work. Uh, one thing, just remember that the Type C output on the um, iPads maximum. To me, it looks like it is five volt. So if you do have one of those accessories, it requires maybe some of them 12 volts. You may not work. Uh, I'm pretty sure it won't work. But looks like anything with five volt requirement, it should work. And um, yeah, so this is fantastic news. 
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully this video give you guys an insight on the power output on the USB Type-C iPad Pros. Now this also applied to the 2018 and 2020 iPad Pro with Type-C as well. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. <laughs>